And green they go in, Lea Gang at the third round, the UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country Olympic World Cup, Peterson blasted away by Evie Richards in the centre of your screen. Yeah, and you see the, the heart rate of uh, Pick Peterson at the start line, 122 already. Already. I mean, normally a rest, it will be uh, around 50, I guess. Already revving quite high as Evie Richards and Anna Terpstra lead them up this first start loop, so there will be a start loop today. So that today, one of the last riders of, if you can call it like a first group, yeah, we have our 19th on our screens, Pauline Ferran Bravo, but the course now turns right up this absolutely harrowing oh, climb. Look at Buck Peters, Buck Peters. Is this an attack already that early in the race? Buck Peters is stringing them out here. Yes. Yeah. This, this climb arrow straight and it just increases in gradient every inch of the way. It's miserable. Jenny Rist had some fourth place. She had a crash in the short track last Friday. Yeah, I don't she was in the, one of the first riders, but. She had a crash. This morning there was still that little bit of moisture about, but I'm keen to see what the woods look like. Poor Peter's hanging off a yeah, foot there. A foot out, uh, that's what she used to do in cyclocross too, when it's oh. off Gambro, yeah. Nearly loses the front end of that canyon as Alessandra Keller goes past her, so Peter's it. The problem when you take your foot out, you have to clip in again, and sometimes yeah. it's, it's yeah, it, it takes a little bit of time, so you can lose also a little bit of time if, if you don't find your pedal back immediately. You can see what happened there. She just got bobbled off that line. Yeah, Keller hooked Keller it Keller comes with it and then she likes to move up again because for the next turn and then they almost, she almost hit each other. Just widened it out. Yep. So Keller into the lead as they head down to the end of the start loop over these tabletop jumps. Very important. There's a chicane to slow down the riders a little bit so that they don't jump the bridge. So as they cross the line then it's Keller from Peterson, from Risvids, from Terpstra, from Lecomte, from Richards. Fry, Henderson, Berta, Steger, Steger for Austria. Yeah, yeah, Steger in the top 10. There's Kate Courtney as well in the black and white of Scott. Yeah, Pauline Frank before 15 at the moment, the world champion and the winner from the short track last Friday. With Mona Mittenwalder and Anne Tauber. Her, yeah. So she has got talent around her, should she need to make her way forward? Um, yeah, the bike has to be fast, fast on the climbs, has to be fast in the descents. It's uh, the suspension, it's the tire, pressure, uh, it's the weight, all these little details. Uh, yeah, the, the, the team's spending a lot of time to prepare the bikes every time again for the best and uh, the best setup. For, oh, again, on that route, oh, nasty crash. Talk and roll. There is Puck Peterson though, out front. Leaders jersey and then behind her, Terpstra almost with uh, Laura Steger and Jenny Wirsvets uh, 24 close to her. seconds behind now Terpstra. Steger's 30 seconds back, Wirsvets 31. So I mean, we're early in the race, only on lap two, but you, you get the feeling that three of these riders need to come together and start working together if they want to limit the damages being meted out by Puck Peterson at the front of this one. Gibson rounds out the top 10 for Trek. There you see how hard they have to work really on these over, deep sections. Really over the Grisfords taking a gel. Ready for these we talked about it earlier on this morning, Bart, but even the best cross-country racers in the world, they will need reminded by the team staff to eat and drink throughout this race because yeah, your brain's you doing so many things. Yeah, <laughs> and not thinking about uh, taking your energy. Uh, a bit of downhill as well at the World Cup level. But, but also Puck Peters, she, she did uh, Strade Bianchi, the, yeah. the, the road race, the gravel road race, where she finished fifth. I think it's a, it's a really interesting time to be a cycling fan because you can pretty much tune into any discipline you want now and see a name you recognise, two or three names you recognise. And it's part of this new generation of racers, really started by Pauline ferran Prevo in terms of, I'll race anything, put me on a race bike. I'll get you a medal out of it. <laughs> she got four rainbow she jerseys got four last in four. three months. A three-month yeah. campaign of terror across yeah. the UCI World Championship titles. Yeah, but the depth of the the, the strength is of the the field of the women's category. It's yeah. it's so huge. I mean, next year Olympics. Yeah, and in the back is quite a bit already. With, with such a strong riders in front of her. Get you in to do the enduro course preview next time out then, Bart. Yeah. Get a bit of payback on Carlson. 
Hey, he was uh, on his bike for nine hours, he told nine me. Nine hours, 6,000 vertical meters descended in the That's a big day. race. Oh, 6,000. It almost, it almost made him slightly less enthusiastic and quieter as well, but <laughs> sadly not to be. <laughs> That's good to see. Everyone's heart rate, of course, different, but interesting to see what the big names are doing. And Mito Malmer now battling for that second place. And the chasing group with Laura Stiger and Rizfet behind her. A bit of cat and mouse going on behind them. Two to go when they cross the line. Maybe the battle for look the best look like rider. Hard, look how hard Peters is going over the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. But all the time again, eh? on every every part of the course, pushing really hard. Bar it's what, what Nino did in uh, last yeah. night, that's what Puck did this year. Is that still part of the plan, or is that just, I feel that I think good, that's, that's I'm what keep mountain going. biking is these days. Yeah. Eh? You have to, to take every second on the course, every part of the course to push hard. Really the interesting. Descents, again, the again, to draw parallels at the podium places there is Pauline Ferran Prevo on the Pinarello Dogma a new bike that we saw launch in Novo Mesto Namarave with a win by Tom Pitcock you see Pauline Ferran Prevo's handlebars there covered in levers gears brakes suspension lockout seat post Luana Lecomte is Look coming Lecomte. back to her and overtaking her Lecomte here the European champion about yeah. to breeze past the world champion Two more laps to go. Luan Lecomte has woken up late yeah. in the day here in Liagang. Looks like she found her rhythm back, but still more than a minute back. Still more than a minute back, but as we just said. The time, well positioned, it's second again here in this group. Here comes Pauline Ferran yeah, with, then. With Sina Fry in front of her. Sina Fry having a good day out there. Yeah, I think she overtook uh, Pauline Fran before again. Sina Fry in sixth now behind Lecomte, the next rider ahead of her. So uh, for Pauline, important if it comes down to the general classification, the leader's jersey. And also Luana Lecomte, back, back for a podium spot. Yeah, different from last year when she was dominating this race here in Leo Gang. She was superb here last year and the year before, actually the European champion. But said she's uh, done a lot of, she's had a lot of talks with uh, Yolanda Neff, and there is Peterson. Yeah, the first climb almost done for her. A few more to come. Sina Fry. Yeah, she's. Moving away from uh, Pauline Ferran Prevot here. On a steep part. But that's still in the beginning of the climb where they are right now. Still more to come. Much more for them on the first climb. Here's Jenny Wiesfetz with Laura Stiegel. These are the numbers three and four in the race. Yep, it is all coming together nicely at the end of this race in Lea Gang. And then 83 beats per minute for Mona Mito Walner. On this part of the well, course, the steep hard. part. What are we going to see here now? Steger just attacking Risfiz. Risfiz looks like well, the body language not looking great there from the Swedish national champion, former Olympic champion. Yeah, I look back over his shoulder. Nobody's there. 41 seconds to the second place. Steger on third place. There is a swimming pool that Bart and I were denied permission to commentate from. Pauline Ferran Prevo up in the seventh now, 226 back. Not her day today behind Zena Fry. Apart from anything else, the two uh, Austrian riders would be happy to have beaten all the Swiss riders, but there was no beating this woman. No. The leader. Some style. Yeah, I would say leading from start to finish. Yeah, absolutely. Starts to celebrate now as well. She might. 
what a performance. Carefully does it off the bridge, but make no mistake, shots fired here in Liagang as Puck Peterson takes to the line and tells the cross country world that she is number one. Puck Peterson wins the UCI mountain bike cross country Olympic, the third round here in Liagang in Austria to add to her points overall, her points overall lead, sorry, excuse me, in what must be the performance of the season so far. Puck Peterson, Mona Mitterwalner, Steger, Risvids, Lacombe, Fry, Ferran, Prevo, Terpstra, Courtney, and Yolanda Neff in 10th, 242 back. Berta, Gibson, Loiv, Tauber, Fiocchi, Batten, Specia, Keller in 18th, Steffi Haberlin in 19th. Puck Peterson. Absolutely spellbinding out front. Redefined what we can expect from her. Tremendous effort out front of this one. The 21 year old never looked back. Never really dipped below 40, 41 seconds in terms of a lead. Comfortably over a minute for most of it. <laughs>